Hello, I'm Dr. Tsui, the acupuncturist, the herbalist, and of course the artist. So today I'm going to talk about two things. Number one, I'm going to talk about this painting. And the number two, I'm going to talk about the sick artist makes sick art. And the first thing is we're going to talk about this art. Basically what I do is I use uh, arts as medicine and I use yin and yang and the five elements of color. And uh, so the yin and yang, that's a uh, universal law and everybody should follow. Uh, so everything, anything, so all, all part of the uh, yin and yang and uh, five elements. So uh, first thing is I use the line to move the continuation movements and uh, with uh, the create this uh, art and after that I use uh, the water uh, and uh, color acrylic color and uh, mixed so create the yin effect so the lines energy flow move around physically move by the artist that's uh, create the yin and the one mixed with the water and the color and the pole and the canvas so have an unexpected effect that's belong to yin so always have yin and yang and of course you can use dry, wet, hot, cold, fast, slow, big, small you know that's all related with the yin and yang but you can use all those things but you cannot out of the yin and yang a lot of arts you pay attention, they are especially the artists. When you create some arts you like, so they always have a yin and yang effect. So that's why so good arts always have a yin and yang effect. Of course, sometimes the yin is more, sometimes yang is more. And then you may say they have no yin and yang effect. So, but that's not true. They always have. If it's not, then they, are, they throw them out of balance. So also they probably be not necessary good arts for the artist, also the, for the viewers. So that's uh, this uh, painting. The size is uh, uh, 12 by 16 and uh, oil acrylic mix and canvas. And uh, that's the arts I talk about today. And now I'm going to talk about the sick artist make a sick art. So sick artists, so basically the sick artists, so they have a, a few things, they are sick. So physically they are sick, mentally they are sick, and spiritually they are sick. So when they are sick, so they not, uh, then if they are good artists, and uh, of course if they don't know what they are doing, so it's different. So if they are good artists, when they are very sick, and uh, they usually create the art, so opposite what they have and just like a self-medicate and take medicines and they want to find something to do to balance and the arts work creative and this is a balance for the artist so example if this artist is terribly depressed and mentally uh, and as physically, mentally, and spiritually, and completely depressed and suicidal, and one very extremely sick. So they usually they want to wake up one day. They say that I want to create the art, and throw the color on it, and they love the red color and the fast moving, and they want to have more yin. And the depressed condition that's just belong to yin. So they want to have a lot of yin. So to balance, so just like you get up to take a medication, so to match with your system and uh, to heal his physically, mental, and spiritual condition. So that's why he throw a lot of more red color that belong to Yan, a lot of fast moving line, a lot of sharp movements, and uh, any dance is more Yan and the less yin. So that's the arts work come out. And that after they do that, they say, oh, I feel so good, much better. I love the art. And they're really, they're really cheerful because they balance his system or her system. That's for the artist. That's how they create it. 
So that's if they are good artists, really match with their physical condition. So the opposite way, if the artist is uh, terribly and uh, nervous, terribly, they are always looking for fight. And have uh, anxiety all the time, cannot sleep, always have red eyes, uh, you know, heart, have headaches, and uh, just uh, restless. They cannot sit still, they're looking for fight all day, and they want to kill somebody, and they just cannot stay still. So those kind of physical condition, crazy condition, so they are looking for when they one day they come, they, they decide they want to create the art, they're looking for the colors very cool, blue color, or every slow movement, and uh, something they, uh, they even they, 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 they work they do, they may have a more uh, depressed and the color and depressed line and the thoughts or depressed way to do it. If they, that is going to match their, with their physical condition, after that they look very creepy, the arts work, and also and feel like they have a, looking for a corner and to hide. And very dark, depressed, you sometimes uh, uh, people don't understand what this is, uh, that art means. Because that's the art as a match with this artist. And uh, so still there's no good or bad art, just uh, they create the medicine for themselves. So they are self-medicate themselves. So that's why they create that kind of art. And uh, you may say that, you know, if they are crazy, uh, you know, uh, sick, you know, physically, mentally, and spiritually, the arts come out as good art or bad art. There's, uh, there's no good or bad. Just that this art is created for the artist, and uh, so it's a good match with this with the artist. If they are good artists, they will always do that because that's how they create the art to match with their physical condition. Of course, when they're going to change, how they're going to change, that depends on their physically, mentally, and spiritual condition. And then they're looking for a new way to create the art. And so the arts have a different period, then they have a different arts come out. So that's the that's the usually the two extreme, and that's uh, why the arts is, uh, is the medicine. Arts can be used as medicine, but of course this is not the only way to help physically, mentally, and spiritually. They have uh, so many other way to help, but this visually help, and. Um, so you may want to say those kind of sick uh, arts can I you know collect it and uh, so yes you can and uh, spiritual especially just like uh, uh, you know depends on your physical condition if you love so much so you like it so much so go ahead to collect it because so these that's a use as a medicine you may have a similar condition and a sick condition as the artist. So you go ahead to do it and uh, you know, bring home and uh, enjoy a few uh, months or even a few years until you don't dislike it. So hopefully your physical condition change because so you stay that kind of out of balance conditions so is not necessarily good. So because you're going to shorten your life and uh, you, you're going to cause a lot of problems. So hopefully you understand more and uh, try to collect the arts, right arts match with your system and uh, keep your physically, mentally, and spiritually healthy. So thank you for watching and this is Dr. Tsai's uh, video and uh, I really appreciate it. You watch my, uh, my video and uh, if you enjoy my arts work, please and contact with me with my email and my phone number or contact with my gallery. Thank you. We talk more. I really appreciate it.